video demonstration, we're going to be using the new four inch, five inch and six inch layering dies from John Nextdoor. We're going to be making a card similar to this. So it's the same sort of idea, but we're going to be using just the layering dies to do this. And we're going to be using the layering dies in the four, five and six inch. So here is the six inch layering dies to show you the different sizes. So actually I'll use the five inch, sorry, miles away. So we go. So in each one, you're going to receive a square, a rectangle and a circle. The size refers to the size of the square, but you have a scalloped outline, a plane, and then this die, which gives you a dotted imprint into the card. And this can be used singly, which we're going to see on this project. You can use them in combination or together, and they come in five inch, six inch and four inch. But for this particular project, we're going to be using the five inch. As you can see here, the large square we're going to be using. So we'll take you th through how we're going to build the card blank and how we actually make this card. So to start with, we're going to need to use the outer square from the five inch die set. So I've got some coconut white crafts to linen card here. You're just going to place your die down and you're going to cut that through as normal. So you're just going to run that through and cut it out. And you need to do that twice because you need two pieces to achieve this. So as we're working in white, I'm just going to move this board out of the way so that you can actually see everything against the black background. So we have the two pieces. So we need to make our card blank. So turn one piece over to the back and I'm using power tape, but you can use a wet glue, which takes a little bit longer, or you can use a red line tape. I wouldn't use your normal finger lift um, double sided tape as it really isn't strong enough for this. So this is the nine millimeter tape and I've put a strip along the back underneath the scallops and I'm simply going to take off the protective cover and then I'm going to take the second shape and this is front facing. So we are putting the two fronts together so it's front to front and using the pattern I'm just matching the pattern up across the top using the two circles here to make sure it's nice and even and just press. And that's now glued down. We simply turn the card over and fold over. Just do this manually up to the tape and fold. And that gives us the perfect top fold standing card that will take the weight. And when we send it, you see you've got that beautiful scalloped edge all the way around. So what we need to do next is cut the panel for this. So taking another piece of the coconut white card, we're going to take the next dies in the set. So this would be the plain six inch square, the dotted six inch square, and we're going to go down to the five inch set. And we're going to take out from that just the dotted piece to add in the pattern. These don't cut out, they just cut in. So it gives a beautiful border that there's no other way to get. So take a long piece of tape and pick up the inner die. You can do this using the Crafts 2 template sheets, but it's not as important. We're not making frames. It's not as important to get it spot on. We then pick up the next die in the set. And finally, pull in the final die in the set. Tape that together and simply run that through our die cutting machine. And this size of square will require an A4 die cutting machine. When that's done, this is the piece that we'll get. And I think this is just beautiful. So we've actually got here all three sizes of the square put into there. So we could simply take the next set down, the smallest set, and add that one in. But here we've got all three sizes. So I'm simply going to take off some foam tape. I've got foam tape on the back. And this is two millimeter foam tape, which just gives a little bit of depth without actually making the card too heavy. And you'll see the square fits perfectly in the middle, just like that. So now we're going to add a sentiment onto our card. So I'm going to use a stamp sentiment this time. And I've chosen one of my amusing sentiments. I think this is from the inspiring set. So I've got a little scrap of card here. 
It's going to magnet it down. And this is Cherish Yesterday, Dream About Tomorrow. So we're going to pop that in the centre using my Presto and Press. And I'm going to stamp this in VersaFine Smoky Grey. Because if I do it in black, it'll be far too strong. There's no other black on the card. So grey is far better for a sentiment when you don't want to draw all the attention to it. So I've just inked that. We'll stamp it. And we've got that one. And then we simply bring in the next die down in the set. So we bring in the four inch layering die. So we'll take our card out. And I'm going to use here the smallest rectangle. And I'm simply going to pop that nice and centrally around the sentiment. I always find it's better to make stamp my sentiment then cut it out that way i can make sure i get it in exactly the right place so we run that through our die cutting machine to cut it out and what i've done here is i've got this already done and i've added it to a mat cut with the dotted scalloped outline so we've got that beautiful offset piece so again i've got a little bit of foam tape on the back of here and we're going to use this bottom dotted edge here as a guide to where to stick this on so we've got this beautifully offset sentiment headed towards the bottom right so just going to bring in a few simple flowers so these have been made using the Michaelmas Daisy set. So watch the video to see how to make these. And I've just used one of the rainbow glass dew drops in the centre. And I've used a yellow one. And I've cut these out of a green card, the centre pieces and the leaves. So I'm going to use my glue glaze. And I simply want to make a little arrangement. So I'm going to take my leaves. And these are bracken leaves from the John Next Door collection. So I'm going to put a little set of three, say, just there. Perfect. So once we're happy, we will glue those on. So with the glue glaze, because it has the wand, I can just literally wipe it across the back. And stick that down. And it's virtually an instant grab. So the same with the next one. It makes arranging flowers and things so much easier because it's grabbing pretty much straight away. If there's a bit that's missed, which I have, just put a little bit of glue on, pop it down. Same with this one. Always when I'm doing videos, I'm far too quick. So just running it along the central spine. There we go. So there we've got our centum, our leaves glued on. I'm going to use the same with the flower. So I've made it one of the largest daisies here, just in white. So the same coconut white with the same green and then just a yellow bead in the center. So we've got that offset there. And we're then going to pop our rest of our foliage just up in this beautiful top corner. Or we could pop it down here to keep the sentiment going, which I think we're going to do. Never be afraid to change your mind on the layout of a card in the middle of it. If something feels right and you think, oh, that's better, do that. It's your instinct telling you what's right. So never, honestly, never be afraid to change the layout. And please, any of the samples that you see made on the videos or on our crafting groups, please feel free to copy, make your own versions of. We have no issues with that whatsoever. The idea is they're there to inspire you. So we've got a same again, little three. We're almost creating little triangles, which I've always found to be the most attractive sort of display. So I'm going to go with one of the slightly larger ones with the green centre and then two of the smaller daisies. Just tuck those in. And a really quite 
clean and simple card and very easy to make, just made using the four, five and six inch layering die sets. We can see there we've got that beautiful Cherish Yesterday, Dream About Tomorrow, but all of the detail from the lines. It looks like you've put a lot more work in than you have because this panel is just one pass through your die cutting machine. Mm -hmm.